Hello, everyone, and welcome to my Coronation Street official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Next week on Coronation Street, Carla Connor puts herself in harm's way as Joel Deering continues to run from the law. Fans of the ITV soap opera were relieved to see Joel released from police prison on Friday, much to the dismay of victim Lauren Bolton, DS, Lisa Swain, Vicki Myers, and his ex fiance Dee Dee Bailey. Carla is furious when she sees Joel at the Chariot Square Hotel, but the three of them are still determined to try to bring him down the following week. Joel is currently on the loose. While Carla is at the hotel meeting with a possible supplier, she notices Joel and quickly goes to his table to start talking to him. She declares to the room that he is the one who attempted to kill Lauren after becoming Scarlet. What will Joel's response be? Our spoiler video shows that Carla meets Joel after he visits their son Frankie in the hospital, which coincides with Joel's most recent threat against Lauren. Joel expresses his rage at discovering Dee Dee there as well and adds another terrifying remark, saying that Dee Dee promptly reports to Swain. After finding out that Joel formerly worked for a company called Walcott's that specializes in assisting young people in need, she decides to carry out more research on her own. What evidence will she uncover, and will it be sufficient to prove her case against him this time? With the help of dating gurus Paul C. Brunson, Anna Williamson, and Dr. Tara, famous faces are going on dates in the current season of Celebs Go Dating. Helen Flanagan, a former Coronation Street actress, chose Luke during the brunch over her other date, and they went on a second date on Tuesday night's program. In an attempt to learn more about one other, the two went to a seafood restaurant where they talked about themselves while eating oysters and drinking champagne. But fans were quick to call out Helen's poor habit of starting a conversation with a question from her dates and then joining on and on about herself. One user joked on Instagram, writing, Stop talking about yourself, Helen, and be more engaged. Show interest, talk about his hobbies instead of reverting it back to yourself the whole time. She asks a question about him and immediately turns the conversation back to herself, remarked a different show watcher. She seems to be in need of care and praise. Therefore, I feel bad for her. Another author wrote, everything about her. When he mentioned his hobbies, she should have followed up, but she immediately returned to herself. Someone else said, bloody hell, I couldn't sit there while someone just wants to talk about themselves. Not everyone shared this sentiment, though, as one admirer hurried to support Helen and say, Helen, you're lovely. You come across really well, in my opinion. Along with Helen, Love Island's Chris Taylor, Maid in Chelsea Lothario Tristan Phipps, and singer Jamelia are among the other celebrities on the show searching for love. Gogglebox's Stephen Webb and Married at First Sight star Ella Morgan are also participating. Fans can't wait for Lauren Goodman to join the other well-known personalities and talk about her troubled relationship with her kid's father, football star Kyle Walker. The six well-known faces had previously received an invitation to a brunch where they faced their past dates and received criticism. There were some awkward moments when the dating coaches read out the comments to each celebrity as they were seated in front of two of their dates. It's amazing to think that David Nielsen, a legend on Coronation Street, was originally only scheduled for six episodes. After playing Roy Cropper, the manager of a cafe, for nearly 30 years, the Midlands-born actor has solidified his place in the hearts of fans. Over the years, David has had his share of grim tales to sink his teeth into, but the most recent has left spectators gasping. In the wake of Lauren Bolton's unexplained disappearance, Roy has been accused with her murder. Many worry that Roy's days of being an eccentric but kind man are coming to an end because he is being held in a prison cell awaiting trial. We examine the real life of the man who lies behind the endearing persona as his future is uncertain. According to The Mirror, 
David, 75, attended the esteemed Central School of Speech and Drama for his acting training after being born in Loughborough. Prior to being well-known, he had a number of jobs, including sales of ice cream, gas fitting, and bartending. Before landing the role of Roy in 1995, he had a string of successful theater engagements, had written and directed plays, and taught drama at Rose Bruford. He also starred in the movie Secrets and Lies and Life is Sweet, both directed by Mike Lee. With his character introduced as a terrifying nuisance whose concern for Deirdre Barlow and Kirkbride came across as sinister rather than caring, Roy was originally scheduled to appear in six episodes of the ITV serial opera. According to what David had previously told The Mirror, the character was shaped in part by his wife of over 50 years, Jane Nielsen. He declared, Roy lacked empathy. He was frightening because he was pursuing Deirdre. Psychos are entertaining to play, but they don't last very long. My spouse dealt with individuals who have autism as a special needs teacher. Instead of being frightening, Roy can be socially awkward due to Asperger's syndrome. According to her, I owe it all to my wife since in 1995, very few people understood what Asperger's was. But the story never mentions it, and it shouldn't since Roy is a human being and a label doesn't help him. Still, I believe he's got it. It provides him with an explanation for his actions and gives me something to work with. Roy is lots of quirky qualities, which I love in individuals. David has remained in the role for much longer than anticipated due to his commitment to it. He has been central to some of the soap opera's most intense plots, such as the one in which his on-screen wife, Haley, chose to end her life after being diagnosed with terminal pancreatic cancer. David, a single parent and grandfather, previously talked candidly to the Warrington Guardian about how the program has impacted his life. He said, I don't freak out when my bills come in, and I don't worry about what goes in my grocery basket. Actually, I believe that to be the best part. It provided me with some ease since, at 46, I had my friends and my life figured out when I stepped into the show. However, it has been fascinating to develop a persona over 20 years. Since 2002, the actor and Jane have divided their time between Spain and England in an effort to live a more normal life, as the actor has previously acknowledged that he found his rise to stardom to be somewhat of a shock. He stated in an earlier interview with The Mirror, they don't know Roy in Barcelona, so I need to move away from Roy and be myself. For the most part, I forget what I do for a living when I spend a few days in Spain. It means that for a split second, I forget that someone is genuinely speaking to me when they exclaim, Roy, when I return, I can travel to Manchester with ease because the flight only takes a few hours. Excitation was another factor in our move. And do it trying out new activities. And it's been beneficial to pick up a language and experience a new culture. We were in a large house in Bristol when our son Daniel departed for university. And we wondered, what shall we do? Thanks for watching if you liked this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.